Well, hello, my most beautiful and glamorous besties. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome. Today, I'm going to be doing an acrylic set on my practice hand, and I'm going to be using the acrylic that I made with this um, case clear powder. And I got all my blue um, glitters that I got from my car, and I just mixed them in there. And I'm going to be using this Savillan acrylic, and it's called Snow. And I'm going to be um, only doing the glitter on the thumb, middle, and pinky. Yeah, on the pointer and ring finger, I am going to use the color Snow. So that's what I'm going to do first because I don't want to mix the glitter with this Snow color. So I'm going to do the pointer and the, the ring finger first. And um, yes, besties, when I started doing the, the color process, um, I felt very confident. I felt a little bit more secure. I'm not um, as scared as I was before. The application is getting so much better. Um, yeah, and I'm enjoying it more. I, I really enjoy doing this nail set. Um, the only problem was with the, the glitter one. I don't know if it's because if it had glittered, it did kind of dried up a little bit faster on me. And I don't know if it was either the, the glitter or if it's a, it's because it's the Kiss acrylic. I don't know if it just dries fast. But um, I still managed a little bit. So I started picking up water beads when I started to do the glitter uh, acrylic. And another problem was that I did put some chunky um, snowflakes in there. And as soon as the brush would touch the snowflakes, which you will see in a little bit as soon as I start doing that, the snowflakes would not stick to the nail or the acrylic or glitter around the snowflakes would just get hard so what i had to do was like pull some of those snowflake glitters out so that i could just like put them on the nail without the acrylic so they would stick to it so that's what i did so that the snowflakes would be able to be seen so um here i am doing this process and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be quiet so that y'all can enjoy it and I will be popping in and letting y'all know what's going on. You know, besties, I am really loving these Saturday Night Critics. They're just so easy to work with, to manage. It's just like spreading butter on the nail. And I love it. I just love using it. And I can't get enough of ordering these acrylics. They're just amazing. So I'm probably going to start ordering like bigger containers of the acrylic because these are just so small. But, um, yes, I'm going to continue on purchasing these style lamps because, like I said, they're just so easy to work with.
Okay, as you can see here, Bestie, the snowflake just fell. Um, I did pick it up to see if I could stick it. It didn't want to, so I just removed it. And uh, I was watching a couple of Zule videos because she does do a lot of glitter acrylics. And I just saw her new Christmas collection, which is amazing. And the one advice that she did give that when you use these glitter acrylics, that it's best to use less because you want everything to be noticeable. All the different types of glitters that are in the mix. And that was a very, very helpful advice. And so what I did, I didn't try to put so much acrylic on there so that all the glitters came through and was able to be seen. And I love this glitter mix, it is just so beautiful. I can't believe that I created it, that I made it. I just pulled out all my my cart glitters and I got all the blue ones. And I just mixed them and I just thought it was just so beautiful. Once I'm done with the nails besties, I will um, off camera clear cap them, file and buff them, and I will be back with the final results so that y'all could see how the nails ended. And as you can see right now, they look so beautiful and once I clear cap them, they're going to turn yellow. This odorless monomer just turned everything yellow. So I'm probably gonna have to be looking for a different odorless monomer. But um, other than that, I did love them. I thought they were so beautiful. And I just, I couldn't believe I did this nail set. So here they are besties, I already filed them, buffed them, shaped them, and um, top coated them. On the pointer and ring, I did use these stickers that I got from Savvy Land, and I did a glossy top coat, and I cured them for 60 seconds, and this is how they came out. Um, I don't know if you can see the yellowing, but I know that that was going to happen, but still, I love the way they came out. I think they're beautiful. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know, besties. Give me a big thumbs up. Like, share, comment. And let me know. And I will be seeing you so soon in the next one. Bye.